All right, everybody, welcome back to the Dreamverse podcast. We failed on, on getting this episode out on time, but that's okay, that's okay. We, we make mistakes and we learn from them. Anyways, I'm Jesse, and we also got <laughs> David and Tad. What's up? Hey, yo, I'm David. Hey. And that's I'm Tad. Bad. So anyway, this is an epic podcast where we talk about the random dreams that we have. It's cringy, it's stupid, it doesn't make any sense. So anyway, we can we can jump right into it, I suppose. Yo, David, you are up first because Oh boy. We wrote a dice. And and we chose <laughs> and we chose Tad, but then we decided to go with you. So <laughs> Alright, David. That's just sense. how it works. <laughs> okay, so there there was one night where uh, I had quite an eventful night in terms of my dreams because I had, I had two that were back to back and my first one was uh, pretty much I was dreaming and I was in my car right and I was in the car in the passenger seat and my mom is in the driver's seat and uh, my mom was holding my dog Snoopy and, and honestly if anything, this dream just made me realize how much I'm afraid of my own dog. <laughs> <laughs> because I swear, Snoopy's something else, man. Sno- Snoopy <laughs> is the most bipolar thing ever. Because in, in, in real life, you'll just walk up and he'll be like, oh, yes, love me, please. And you're like, oh, I'll give you a pet. And he's like, aha, oh, you pet me for too long. Allow me to <laughs> take your hand off. <laughs> I swear, so, walking into your house is just like a military lockdown. They're like, wait, oh, wait, 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 we're not ready. Snoopy's not locked up yet. The doorbell rings. You just hear everyone's like, get Snoopy in the kennel, get please. Snoopy. I swear, the one time your mom gave me like a piece of uh, food or whatever, it's like, hey, Jesse, you can be a science experiment. I want to see if you can feed this to Snoopy. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen to my hand? All right, anyway, you're in the car. Continue. Yeah, yeah, so pretty much my mom is trying to like, pass snoopy to me except i'm just like refusing and or actually no 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 so my mom's trying to pass snoopy to me and my body's just kind of like moving towards it except i'm resisting because i don't want to because i just see snoopy's like teeth going off (laughs) and i'm full just (laughs) panic mode and then literally because i am so scared of the fact that I'm about to get past my own dog. I ended up biting my own tongue and I'll wake up <laughs> because I bit my tongue. <laughs> and literally for for the next week, literally my tongue just the tip of my tongue just hurt because it was like a scab over my own tongue. Oh my god, it's so bad. Jeez. It was miserable. But but you know, I, I, I got over it and I went back to sleep. Except the weird thing is when when I went back to sleep, <clears throat> uh, I kind of like woke up, if you will, and I was laying in my bunk because uh, I'm at my college dorm now, so I'm sleeping on a bunk bed, and uh, I was facing, you know, my room, and then I t- see these two like kind of like shadow silhouettes. One is might be like a teenage girl. And then another one's like a little girl. And they kind of just walk by. And then they kind of just stop right in front of like my field of vision. And pretty much when I see that, I try to sit up. Except there's like this force like pushing me down. So I guess this is kind of like a little mini sleep paralysis where I literally could not control my body at all. And I couldn't just, I couldn't get up. I'm lost, I'm lost. You're in your bunk bed? No, no, no. Yeah, no. This is the thing because... At this point, I, I thought I was awake, but pretty much I, I couldn't keep my, I couldn't move up. I, could, I couldn't control my body. You saw shadow people. Yeah, I just see shadow people. I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay. And then they kind of just like look at me. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> and then just walk away. And mind you, at this point, my entire room is pitch black. And everything outside my window is pitch black as well. And I'm like, okay. So I reach over to my phone and see the time. It's like seven o'clock and and mind you at this point i thought i was awake but it's 7 a.m and at where i am and where i am the sun should be up yeah yeah yeah. no no you just say it's seven i'm like wait a minute something's not lining up here no exactly so i thought i was awake but maybe i was like still dreaming or something so i was i was tripping out i'm like 
because I remember I saw it was seven. I was like, oh, okay. And I just went back to bed because I just wanted to sleep more. But now I'm like, was that whole thing still in the dream? Hmm. <laughs> that's that's whack. Know. It, it was it was a trippy night. Not to mention my tongue still hurt at that point. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Um, I know, I've had a few dreams. I had maybe I have two. I think in my journal where like I legitimately like what is it had signs that w it was a dream or like it seemed too real, you know. And then mm -hmm. I wake up and I'm like, wait, that was a dream. But I'm like thinking back to it. I'm like, wait, there there were warning signs. This was this was easy to figure out, but um, I don't really remember where they are. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Okay, there was one night where like I swear, what was it? I went up. <laughs> I went upstairs to go to bed in one of my dreams, and I'm just like going up the stairs, and then I just woke up in the morning, and I was freaking tripping because I'm like. I don't remember any of last night. The last thing I remember was going up the stairs to go to bed. But I don't even remember getting to my bed or, or getting ready or what the heck. I'm like, wait a minute. It was a dream the whole time. I'm like, no I'm way. I'm tripping, man. Because I'm just like, what the heck is going on here? You know? I'm mm -hmm. like, no, yeah, definitely. Any other dreams? Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of similar to your. Uh kind of those warning signs that kind of like indicate it's a dream. Kind of the, those warning signs for me definitely help trigger uh, lucid dreams. Uh-huh. Because uh, what one of my dreams, uh, actually, if anything, the the very beginning should have been the very clear warning signs. <laughs> but, but, but it wasn't. Because at, at the start of the dream, uh, I was I was dreaming about Pokemon. Okay. All right. <clears throat> right off the bat, should have been the warning sign, but no. <laughs> and <laughs> because, actually, if anything, because the I was dreaming about Pokemon, and how like you know kids would get Pokemon, right? You know, just yes. like any other Pokemon game. Except the the reason why kids were getting Pokemon, it was to help teach kids and explain. Bad parenting. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> because you would get a Pokemon, for instance, that could use take down. And the <laughs> example I put down in my diary was a Pokemon will learn take down to normalize parents beating their own children. Wait. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> I'm so. What is this? What are you dreaming no, so about? Pr pr pretty much just stuff so like. Hey, look, this Pokemon can use Flamethrower, right? Ah, okay. So, therefore, like, if a Pokemon used Flamethrower, like, and it, like, you know, hit a kid or something, the kid would be like, oh, okay. That means it must be normal for, like, my parents, like, put me in a fireplace. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what kind of piece of household are you in? Dude, what the heck? <laughs> No, yeah. So, pr pretty much, in my dream, I'm like, oh, yeah, dude, makes sense. Pokemon <laughs> doing all this abusive stuff so that parents can do abusive stuff. Yeah, sure, makes perfect sense. Meanwhile, what, what triggered my lucid dream was me running around with flip-flops and realizing, wait, I should be tripping and I don't hear the clipping or the clapping noise of running with the flip-flops, which made me realize I was dreaming. <laughs> you must be dreaming. Wait a minute, the, not, Pokemon, not the Pokemon, the Pokemon, everything's real, everything's real. the flip-flops, they're not making any exactly. noise, I must be dreaming. I no. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yes, I am gonna fly around for the rest of the dream, and it was great. <laughs> I swear, why does every single lucid dream end with, like, flying around? They're just like, dude, I was, I was, I started realizing I was dreaming, I just started flying away. I'm like, what do you I mean? mean? There's so much more you can do. Yeah, but that's just the first but thing you flying. think of, because I mean... What? Because you could think of, you're like, oh, I could create anything and whatnot, except it, it just takes so much willpower, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Because I know, at least for me, when I lucid dream, it's mm -hmm. it's very fragile in the sense of what you can do. Yeah. And yeah. For, for me, flying is the easiest thing <laughs> because okay. you could fly around and you're like, okay, sweet. But like, for instance, in this dream, I was flying around and I wanted to like test something out. I was like, okay, I see a tree. I'm going to fly straight through the tree. 
And the thing is, <laughs> I did it. I flew, I flew straight through the tree. I'm like, yes, this is hype that I did it. But the thing is, when I went through the tree, I kind of like started losing it a little bit. Because, you know, I, I think it's maybe something like your brain's getting stimulated or something. Uh -huh. But, you know, I just hmm. flew straight through. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of losing consciousness. I, I might wake up a bit. Except, you know, then kind of the rest of my dream adapted to the fact that I was flying. So, you know, a whole crowd got around. I was like, whoa, look, that guy's flying. <laughs> so, like, you know, I was able to like kind of get back into it. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, I guess when it comes to just other people who are like, well, dude, I could do so much more. Or, you know, the possibilities are endless. But, I mean, flying is just the kind of the easiest thing to think about, I guess. Understand. Because you're not really mm -hmm. creating anything physically that you have to think of. Understood. I don't know. Understood. That's true. Yeah, I feel like every time I've had one of those where I realize I'm in the dream, like, I'm, like, trying to think of what to do, and by the time I can think of anything to do, it's already, like, I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Dude, I feel that. Pretty much. Like, the potential, no. I'm like, I could do anything, and then you just wake up, and you're like, oh, dang it. <laughs> There's a few times where, like, a dream feels really weird, like, real to me, but then, like, some random thing happens. Like, there was one time I was talking to someone, and I swear... Under one lighting condition, like, their face just turned into someone else's face. And I'm just like, whoa. No, wait, that's normal. And I'm like, <laughs> but, like, me Dude, looking back, that. I'm like, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, something's off here. And then, like, there was a few other things. I'm like, something, something's not right here. There's something weird about everything going on right now. I'm like, something doesn't seem normal here. I'm like, why is there a tree growing in our pool? I don't think that's right. <laughs> I'm like, why are we going to a helicopter ride to go chop wood down for the winter tomorrow? Something, something's starting to fall apart here. I remember, like, as things progressed, like, the dream just got more and more unstable as I described it. And I'm just like, things are not lining up. So then it was just like, well, wait a minute, I'm going to go upstairs. And I, like, woke up. And I'm like, wait a minute, it was a dream the whole time, you know? Dude, yes. Big hype. Mm -hmm. Tad, do you, do you have any banger dreams that you have recently? Um, let's see here. Mm, I have a couple Neither? short ones. Short hey, and dude, sweet. Yeah. That's how you do it. Okay, this first one is extremely short, but I just went outside in my front yard and... Just suddenly a patch of grass was just on fire. Oh. Like a little like column just like in flames. I was like, this isn't good. I should just put it out before my dad gets outside. <laughs> and then I got I put the fire out. And did anything else even happen in that one? Not really. Um that one <laughs> that, was, that was the dream. There you go. That was the dream. <laughs> hey Jack! <laughs> Okay, this That's one was a little about. bit more interesting. That's content. This is quality content for a podcast, you know? Okay, this other one, for some okay. reason, I was, like, making an aquarium out of, like, it had these, like, co like a concrete frame, and I don't even think there were gla there was glass on the sides. It was just, like, floating water, and it was, okay. like, full of fish and stuff. And then I, like, was making it out of, like, I don't even know. It, was, like, it looked like intertwined, like, coat hangers making the sides of the fish tank. <laughs> This, I'm like, this makes no sense. <laughs> and then it, it, it just filled with water. And I'm like, okay. And then it was like trying to put a whale into it. And it like <laughs> swam like under. <laughs> For some reason there was water like next to the tank and under the tank as well. And the whale just swims under the tank and like goes up into it. And I'm like, okay. Dude, whale pet. And then suddenly I'm just in like a sports chalet. For some reason. And then like half the store... Is like kind of similar. It's like just water, like in the air, and I was like Whoa. scuba diving through the store. That's cool. That's hype, dude. Heck yeah! And, and, also then, and then there were sharks. Oh yeah, yeah. Sports chalet is gone. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I was like, I was scuba diving. <laughs> sad. You just, just made this a charity case. Sad day. I remember, that. I remember that those days. Hey, we got clearance though as it slowly died. And exactly. Hey, you know how many backpacks. scuba diving weights I was able to buy? It was great. <laughs> Beautiful. Amazing. I think it kept going. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, the store was like it was like half kelp forest, but then like half of it was just like the store. That's but I was like Minecraft. swimming through it. Ooh. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then there were like a bunch of sharks in there. I'm like, oh shoot! And then I like got out of the water on some like little like platform, and I think, and then I was just feeding them for some reason, and then I think one of them bit me, and then it ended. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Get your hand off or whatever. Heck yeah. Yeah. Big hype. Big ethic. Mm -hmm. I you said ethic for a moment. I'm just like, big ethics. ethics. Now, oh. was it ethical for the Pokemon <laughs> to beat up the children, David? Hmm? Hey, hey. You, you know what? You know what? what? Whenever I get a dream about Pokemon, I get hype. And I'm like, dude, yes, Pokemon. I guess this time they just spiced it up a bit, okay? All right. So Dude, I, 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 just, remember, I just went with the flow. <laughs> keeping it spicy. I remember when I was little, I had one where, like, Pokemon was real, and I was so hyped. <laughs> I remember, I'm a trainer a now. Child. I just get to roam around and collect Pokemon and fight them. This is amazing. And I woke up and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I remember just the amount of times you just wake, you have a dream, and you're like, everything is amazing. And then you wake up, and you're like, wait, everything sucks. Dude. Yeah, I remember when I was little, I, I haven't had it in a long time, but there would be a, a Pokemon dream where, you know, like when, when you dream, you get one set of dreams, but then you wake up, maybe like a year later, you'll have that exact same dream. No, yeah, oh, except yeah. Like maybe yeah. going a little further. Yeah. I, I had that, had that kind of dream with, with Pokemon, except I was the trainer and like, and like each time. I went like maybe like one gym further <laughs> and I remember I, I got to the Pokemon champion and then I woke up just before like the actual battle and to this day I don't know if I beat him or not. Hey, hey, Aww. give it a year, give it a year it's, man. Exactly, exactly, one more year, one more I've year, had, we'll get I've there. I've had some dreams where I wake up and I'm like, I've had that like scenario or that plot before like i'm like yeah. that's so weird like i remember it from years ago i'm like that was like a continuation of something dreams are yeah. whack man there's no science behind them i don't get it no, yeah like i make them fun hmm. sorry yeah, well, well, there's ones like that, that. I was just saying those ones like that, like, yeah, it feels like you've had it before, but I'm like, I don't even know. Maybe the first part was the same night, and I just thought I had it before. I don't even know. I know, I know, right? That's that's the weird thing about deja vu. Sometimes you're like, wait, that that's happened before. And then when you yeah, really think I... about it, you're like, no, that's never happened before. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you totally get the deja vu feeling. I know, I know, right? That's... Minds are dumb. <laughs> are you kidding me? Like, minds are just like, you can't trust it. What was it? I saw I saw a meme the other day where it's just like, just you just sound like a meme where it's just like, literally, all these experiments and they're talking about how they removed memories from a snail's brain, and did you see that? <laughs> what the and, heck? No, I literally just saw all what? these news articles and they're just like scientists managed to remove memories and implant them into a different snail's brain, and it's just like all these articles like a snail remembers something that never happened to it. And it's just like, dude, a snail just begins seeing Vietnam flashbacks or something. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god! I swear that this, this, <laughs> those poor snails just like <laughs> it's just like the scientists are just like snail. What do you remember? Just silence. Dude, the what snail have we just done? remembering every time it's about like almost get stepped on or something. Oh my god, dude, weird stuff. Oh, <laughs> one thing I will say. Okay, back to like, David, your flying thing, just flying mm -hmm. around. Okay, when I was younger, um, I used to fly. All right, and I kid you not, I don't know what the heck is. I don't know what how creative my memory is, but there were one or two times where I remember I actually I have literal memories of me just flying, and it was during the day. Like, I swear, I don't know if I just zoned out, I tripped, you, I just got You mean high. like when, when you're dreaming or just... No, no, during the day, okay? <laughs> like, during the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. There were two times, okay? All right, now hear me out, hear me out now, all right? <laughs> what the heck? Hear me, here's the thing, though, okay? 
as stupid as it sounds, this is what trips me out. It's it's literally just me like being imaginative, all right? But I have memories of me flying, okay? I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how high I was. No, it right. sounds like yeah, it sounds like you were high as a child. <laughs> okay. So wait, no, 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 no. Dreams no, no. are Hear weird too. Hear me out. It's completely <laughs> completely literal, all right? If I just put on a white sheet, all right, and I spun around fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, in my living room, I would float. Okay, all right, and and I remember, I remember very distinctly being able to float in my room. However, however, there was one other time I was at school. All right, and we had just been released to like, uh, you know, go play on the playground and stuff from lunch. All right, and I remember running forward, and I remember, I I tripped out again, and I freaking flew, like. A freaking elf or whatever onto like one of the school roofs and then I just flew back to where I was <laughs> and I kept running I remember doing that I remember doing that distinctly I all imagine right? you just doing it looking over to your boy you're like hey hey you see that you saw that right <laughs> you saw that hey did you see me fly right there I remember though legitimately being like how do I do it because I would constantly be like tripping out being like I remember I flew and as I grew older, I would keep trying to do it, and I'm like, well, every once in a while, like on rare occasions, I would remember doing it, and I'd be like, I need to fly, I need to remember the technique, this is something no one else in the world can do, and like, just spin around or whatever, and I'd try so <laughs> hard, or I'd try to just basically just trip myself out, and dude, heck yeah, so yeah, I, I flew as a child, I want you to know that. <laughs> I, I like this am was, very this happy was broad to hear that. Daylight, like during lunchtime at school. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tad, you're you're totally right though. Day daydreams, they they could be whack, or they could be <laughs> cool are... too. Yeah, I remember being really good at that when I was little. Like I could pretty much do whatever I wanted. The daydream. <laughs> Do you just full on superpower mode? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I like, have... probably daydreamed, but I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, can't I have a lot. That. I just have ones I could do like shape shifting. I could like turn into animals and stuff, and like go wherever I want. Dang, that's ah, cool. Teleport. That's called the morph mod in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing too much Minecraft. <laughs> I don't think really think mine were daydreams. It was more so like I just play like games in my head, where you know I'd be walking around like on campus or or anywhere where there were like these patterns on the floor and I would I remember I would specifically try to step or have like my heel on one of the cracks no matter what and if I didn't I would just blow up <laughs> I think I, I did that too no, I remember doing stuff <laughs> not like the that. blowing up part the but... threat of death <laughs> looming over you no, yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be like bad luck if you like messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I remember walking between the cracks and you'd have to do a certain number of steps between the cracks as well. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. I remember doing all sorts of things. I remember being like, okay, I'm going to go outside, but I'm going to hold my breath until I make it to the next <laughs> room. <laughs> I just imagine a supervisor walking by just sees a passed out child on the floor. <laughs> Just didn't make it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I swear. Well, okay, that, that brings back another memory. I was at school one time. And, all right, basically we have this, like, 30-minute, like, sort of period where I guess it's, like, I don't know, homework time. I don't know. It's, like, work schedule time. You know? It's not exactly – it's kind of like a period. Um, but, like, I don't know. It's not exactly a class. You just stay in your last class, and I guess you work on stuff, you know? Oh, wait, it's like study hall or something? It's, yeah, pretty much like a study hall. I don't know exactly what they called it. It was basically like a study hall 30-minute period. So anyway, every time I'd be in my English class, and we would basically go into the study hall kind of period, and everybody would just start talking, doing homework. It'd be a loud classroom, all right? So I assumed... Every single class was like that. It's study hall, you know? Like, everybody's working, doing stuff, talking, and loud, right? <laughs> One study hall, I had to go to a classroom next door to go make up a test. And so I'm assuming everything's quiet. Uh, well, I, knew, I mean, everything's kind of loud. Everyone's talking. It's, it's study hall, right? 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 I keep telling myself I love, that. I love how you think study <laughs> hall is supposed to be like this talkative thing. Study hall is literally like, yes, you are doing your work. Uh, no, no, no. 
I swear, anytime, no, you say study, all right? You tell a classroom to study, you, you tell, <laughs> you get a supervisor or you get a substitute that's just like, all right, guys, now you got to study. It ain't quiet. I'll tell you that. Uh-uh. It, it turns into a loud, it's just like collabor collaboration. We're all going to study together, work. friends. <laughs> collaborative work. <laughs> I've been in classes. You know how it works. <laughs> Yeah, that's anyway. weird. I like forgot what a normal class was like. I know, right? It used to like <laughs> just be loud. I know, like everyone talking and stuff, I not know. just like an hour long video that's really boring. I know, school. now we're just sitting on a Zoom call, just looking at people as they turn off their cameras. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. Yeah. I didn't finish my story. Anyway, I walk into oh, yeah. the classroom and I swear, I just shoved the door open. And it was two steps away, so I'm just like, haha, this is funny. I'm like, whoa, that was a long journey. I swear, it was pitch silent. And everyone just turns and stares at me. <laughs> and the teacher just turns mm -hmm. to me. And he's just like, you will not disrespect my class and come in and make a large announcement. You are not the only one here. I'm like, oh, God. And she just basically <laughs> shoves me in the corner to, like, make up my test. I'm like, I thought it was... I thought it was like free time. I thought everyone would be talking. And nope. No, ah, ah, my screen fell asleep. <laughs> New audio. Dude, put in the timeout corner. Yep, so yeah, that's pretty oh. much how I went. Hmm. Oh, I guess no. I haven't talked about What do we talk about? I haven't mentioned random things. I haven't, I haven't actually spoken about my dream, I suppose. Whoa! Whoa. I have an actual dream. All right, this was the first dream I ever logged in my dream journal. All right? Ooh. First dream. The only yeah. other dreams I can remember was a horror, like a nightmare with, like, the little mermaid. Um, and then <laughs> it was terrifying. I ran screaming to my parents. And then one other time when my friend was dressed up in a chicken outfit and killed me with a spatula. Um, anyway, but this is the first one that I actually wrote down, all right? Um, <laughs> so, all right, so basically, here's, here's, here's how it went. I went in Taco Bell, and I'm like, I'm going to get food, right? So I go in there, and there's just this random person standing in the corner of Taco Bell, all right? Don't, don't know what he's doing, mm -hmm. but he's just there the entire dream. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't interact with the dream at all. He's just there, alright? So just know he's in the corner, Just right? vibing. Yeah, yeah, just vibing in the corner, alright? Anyway, the rest of the store is empty. The employees are just kind of sitting around except for the one guy at the cashier helping me, alright? So, I've ordered my food, but for the poor life of this man, the cashier can't figure out how to divide him his cash, you know? Can't give me my change back. And I'm like, dude, it's okay, it's okay, take your time. But no, the boss manager comes in, he starts bullying the, the cashier. And I'm like, whoa, 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 slow down, man. I can barely divide by two myself, so don't, don't, don't be so hard on this guy, <laughs> all right? So, <laughs> so I'm just like, dude, just, just give me the food, we'll wrap it all up, and we're chilling. So I get my food, I start kind of walking out. Right as I walk out, the entire football team just barges in, and it's like kind of late at night. And basically just fills up the entire Taco Bell and pushes me back. I'm like, no, I need to leave. But before I can leave, all of a sudden the cashier throws me a package of french fries. Okay? <gasps> He's like, hey, start, start handing them out. Oh, <laughs> I'm no. like, wait. I thought you got free french fries. No, 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 no. I have to help deliver them to the freaking football players that are now occupying the whole place. All right? So they keep throwing me french fries. And the thing is, first of all, let me say, it's McDonald's french fries at Taco Bell. All right? I don't know what's oh, going on. Oh, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Second of all, you know, like, the reinforced cardboard sort of like boxes that like Big Macs and like a chicken nuggets uh -huh, come in. Yeah. All right. So it's sort of like a heavily modified box like that, that holds French fries designed for you to chuck them at people. All right. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> over here chucking these French fries at all the football players and they're just like catching it. And like, that was a voice crack right there. Whoa, that whoa, was whoa. impressive. That was impressive. Yeah, I don't know what that done. was. I can't remember. Nicely done. <laughs> I'm going to have to replay that. Um, okay. But anyway, they're all, like, catching it like football players. Pretty pretty epic. But I'm, like, getting frustrated, all right? I'm just kind of like, what's going on? Can I get leaving, you know? I need to leave. I keep helping out. All of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. Why is everyone at Taco Bell gay? All right? And I swear, seven people, like, there were, like, seven gay couples in the football, football team there. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on right now? All right? I'm just like, what, what was vibing? And they're just like, talk about, it's gay. And I'm like, 
<gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> All right. No <laughs> way. So so yeah yeah yeah. It's like it's, it was like being at like a gay bar, but but Taco Bell. Um, Dude. So, so, <laughs> who who so, knew Taco Bell was like the hookup spot? It was it was it was it was a thing. So you just have all these like football players. They all be vibing. All right. Anyway, then I go to art class. Okay. But here's the thing: art class is still part of the talk about. It's a dream. It all blurs together. All right. So like hey, it's the perfect. talk about is still in the the art room. All right. But on top of that is combined with the football field, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> it's all seamlessly put together in one room, all right? At least how I visualize it in my mind. That's just all I remember, okay? But basically, I go into art, I start working on my thing. I guess the rest of the class is like playing tag on the football field, which just kind of like lines up perfectly with my art class. But a few people run back, and as I'm just minding my own business, working on my art, all right. All of a sudden, one of the people in my friend groups, she just turns to me. He's like, "Hey, Jesse, you're a meme." And I'm like, "Wait, what? What do you mean?" Ooh. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, you're you're cringy and you're a memed up person." I'm like, "No, I'm not. Whoa. No, I'm, stop, stop bullying me. What do you mean? What do you mean?" <laughs> and, he's, and she's like, "No, no, you're cringy and you 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 just you just you're just a meme. That's all you are." And I'm like, "No, I'm not. Stop that." And she's like, "Yes, you are." And she pulls out Discord on her phone, opens up a photo. And it's basically just a poorly photoshopped image of me with like the dank meme sunglasses photoshopped onto me <laughs> with like a hat. All right. Dude, and just they really all... exposed you. And she's just like, see, Thanks. look, you are a meme. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I start breaking down. And I'm like, stop. No, I have real purpose in life. I have meaning. I'm, I'm a real person. <laughs> and, and I swear, it doesn't get better. All of a sudden, so my other friends, they start joining in. All of a sudden, this entire friend group in in my freaking like art class, they're all just surrounded like, haha, you're a meme, you're an idiot. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just having a mental breakdown over this. And they just keep shoving that in my face. They're like, see, you're wearing the dank glasses. And I'm like, no, stop. And then the entire <laughs> class joins in. And I'm like, stop, stop. And then I wake up and I just like freaking embarrassed and sad and oh, literally God, having a mental hilarious. breakdown because oh. I, I'm a meme. <laughs> I feel th I was so evidence. invested. I'm just like, I feel like I was, I'm just over here. I'm like, no, no, I'm not just a joke. I can actually do things in life. I, I, I'm a real person. And I'm like, yeah, no, they just, they just gangbang me. And yeah, so that was my dream. I, I I love how you're just like no, please don't make me a meme. Don't Meanwhile, me. so many other people would would love being a meme. <laughs> Instead, you're like no, I have purpose in life. Yeah, I, have purpose. <laughs> I, I don't want to cash in my like 15 seconds of fame on a meme. <laughs> yeah, no. Not to no, mention think, a meme in my dream. I think it got too real though. I think they were basically just saying that you're a joke and i'm like no no i'm not a joke i can do real thing no you're just you're just a laugh to everyone i'm like no stop Ooh, this you're just the comic relief character i'm, just, I'm pretty much yeah just, i'm just a comic relief no one actually loves me just throw them out on the curb when you're done having your laugh i'm like Ooh. no how dare you and but i woke up so we're chilling hey no Next yeah that was, that was similar because I, I had a dream too where reality made no sense, but Jesse was just bullying me because oh yeah hey uh, I do that all no the time. I was I was texting Jesse about something in my dream and I forget exactly what I was texting him about, but bottom line I was I was making a list so I was texting a list and I had I had dashes kind of like bullet pointing. <laughs> my list and i just remember I, I i sent him the text and then he just replied like barraging me for using <laughs> dashes and he's like why would you use dashes like who who do you think you are essentially and i just remember for no good reason i just got super mega depressed <laughs> I'm all like wow i'm being bullied i'm being called out like this it's so sad and i just woke up and i'm like Dang, I am actually sad right now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I use dashes myself, and I get bullied about that, <laughs> so that's hilarious. 
Some people are just like, I swear, the audacity of some people. You're just like, or you? I'm just like writing with dashes, I remember, and with my tutor one time. And I'm just like, okay, I'm doing this. He's like, or you could bullet point them like a normal human being. And I'm like, <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> You're like, so but that's... guess what? I'm still gonna use dashes. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, why does it matter? I know, right? <laughs> I'll like alternate. Like... I'll like randomly use dashes, or I'll just use bullet points. Nah, no, just just to spite them, I would just use complete sentences so that all the main points are just completely lost. So it's not <laughs> even easy to read anymore. <laughs> just make it all yep. like into a big massive paragraph. <laughs> See, I'm trying to think if I've had any dreams with you guys too. Like that weirds me out. Like why do you always have so many random dreams about just random people that you've seen like out of the corner of your eye, but you never have any dreams yeah. with like, your friends. It's the weirdest thing ever. I, I have I had, some with friends, but I had one recently with Tad. I forget the exact context of everything going on, but I just remember he was a uh, what was it? He, he was in like a, the men's bathroom and he was peeing. And uh, <laughs> I just thought it would be funny if I jumped on him. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so I essentially just tackled him while he was peeing. As for what happened next, I don't remember. But yeah, so there, there you go, Tad. <laughs> That's fun. All right, so we're going to end the podcast right there. Thank you for making it to the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you are the one person that has made it to the end of the podcast. We appreciate you to listening to our entire thing. Um, please uh, follow the YouTube channel um, and also keep listening to future episodes. So yeah, we appreciate it. Whoa, Every other week, let's, we're let's see posting. if we actually do this again in two weeks. Ha ha. That's, a, that's <laughs> the real question. That's the real question. All right. Perhaps. Thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Bye. Love Adios. You. Who who just said we love you?